Mm-hmm. Uh, 1 Peter 3, verse 4. Mm-hmm. But let it be the hidden man of the heart in that which is not corruptible, <laughs> even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of, of God of great price. <laughs> For after this manner in the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in God, adorned themselves, being of subjection unto their own husbands. (laughs) Now, um, I actually don't have to be in subjection, yes, to any forgery of any court document. And the thought of the equality of men and women, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, you find any forgery of any court order, yes, it obligates me to be in subjection to mm-hmm. the power of attorney of my wife. Yeah. Now, this last eight years, three months, and uh, well, I guess we should get a date, yes, uh, there was no jurisdiction of the court to issue a protection order. Mm-hmm. But you've arrested me multiple times, yes. You threatened me with in- imprisonment, yes. For failure to pay child support. Mm. When I go through the child support services of every nation. Mm -hmm. And child protective services. Yes. Or you would say that I'm in another nation right now. Mm -hmm. You've subjected the whole world to have to enforce your court orders. Mm -hmm. See, I wouldn't expect a woman to be in subjection to myself. Yes. As the head of the family. Yeah. If it wasn't my actual wife, Uh or was some other woman that looked like her, yes, I couldn't tell her what to do, yes, I couldn't say mm -hmm, anything about her, really, yes. Now, as a as a father, yes, and as a husband, uh, there were a few different times where Heidi had to make a difficult decision, yes. Mm -hmm. See, I didn't tell her what to do. Mm -hmm. We can buy homeschooling supplies, yeah, or we can pay the rent. Mm -hmm. It's your choice. We can end up on the street. Or we can pay the rent. See, you couldn't tell my wife what to do. Yes. She had to make her own decisions. Oh, and quite often she'd get frustrated about not being able to get what she wanted to get. Mm. Mm -hmm. Now, why don't you get those forgeries right now? Because I'm going to want the genetic testing of every woman that said she was my wife. Yeah, but she wasn't. And for all of you that use the ex officio superior court clerk uh, forgery. Yeah. I'm going to want some genetic testing. Yes. See, anytime you put your actual signature to a court document, Mm -hmm. there's the availability of me questioning you as an actual officer of the court. Mm. Brent, I'm going to want your genetics. Yes. Now, I didn't get any of these court orders uh, after she motioned the court for default dissolution of marriage. Uh Uh-huh. I didn't get any of the documents. I'm going to want to see every signature. Yes. And then I'm going to want the genetic testing of every individual that signed a court form. Mm. Now, it could have been your real signature, Judge Roar. Ouch. Or it could have been your lookalikes. Ouch. Now, would uh, you appreciate, yes, that I have the right to know the identity, yes, of any individual Mm -hmm. that signs any court form? Oh, is tw- this is October 25th. Yes, it's a Friday. Mm. You know, a lot of persons are concerned that I'm going to end up in the homeless shelter again. Yes. That no one in the United States is going to enforce the laws. Yep. And that I'm going to be in subjection to the state having issued fraudulent court orders. Yep. Where they refuse to acknowledge the rights of American citizens. Mm-hmm. And then I'm not going to be able to move to any nation of the world. Yes. And that for every nation of the world that has any knowledge of this fraud, yeah, they're going to have to enforce your court order. Now, um, I'm not really one of these individuals that tells women what to do. Mm-hmm. You can make your own decision. Yes. Did you want to pay the rent or did you want to buy what you want to buy? Mm. Now, I do uh, want you to understand this modest apparel. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I've oftentimes thought that it's one underneath the modest apparel that I find attractive. Oh. And I had thought that the sensitivity of a woman needs to be mm, explained. Yes. Now, I know that those five different orgasms, there's no use in us having intercourse if you have no sensitivity, <coughs> no intimacy. Now, eight years, three months, and 17 days ago, mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. You issued a temporary protection order without any jurisdiction of law. And from that time until now, yes, you put me in jail numerous times. Yes, you refused to admit the evidence. Oops. Then you took away my right to have a driver's license. Yes, my right to vote. Yeah, my right to run for office. Yes, my right to be a notary public. Yes, and then you took away my right to be on juries. Ah! Now, it could be that if you'd make the decision today, I'd like to speak to Marilyn about being sensitive to the intimacy of the love relationship. <laughs> And I don't know how long her hair is. I mean, it, a lot of women, they, they can't braid their hair. I don't know how to braid hair. I thought about learning how to do it, but I find it too complicated. 